What is going on guys, my name is Ryder and welcome to a video on why I didn't go to college. Before we even get into this video, I am not saying do not go to college, I am not saying it's not worth it, it completely depends on what you want to do. For me personally, I knew as soon as I was a junior in high school, I knew I was not gonna go to college, I knew I didn't need it for where I wanted to go, and it just didn't make sense for me. I told myself from a very young age, I knew I wanted to work for myself. I knew I didn't want to make anyone else rich. I knew I didn't want to spend 40, 45 hours a week in an office for somebody else's business when I know that I'm just as capable, if not better, to do it myself. But while everyone else was applying and doing all the college shit that you do, I was kind of just sitting there with uh, really no plan at all. I actually had like a 3.2 GPA in high school and I rarely did homework. I, I kind of believed that I was already there for seven hours. So any homework that I had, I could either do it during school or the hours that I was there, but I wasn't gonna waste my time outside of school to go work on it. And really now it's almost less relevant than ever considering the fact that we have AI, which will basically replace everything that school is trying to teach us. And we should probably work towards uh, problem solving and other communication skills. Back to the point of the video, it really depends on what your goals and ambitions are, right? So if you want to be a doctor or a lawyer, it's no question. It, it, it's, not a, it's not a discussion if you should go to college or not. Obviously, you must. So I'm not saying not to go to college. I'm just explaining why I didn't and why you shouldn't if you don't know what you want to do and you want to own a business of something along the lines of that. And if you are in college, I'm going to cover a few things that kind of the best ways to alleviate your debt or the best strategies that I would recommend or I would do if I was in college and I had student loan debt. Now, again, if you want to be a teacher or do something along those lines, it's a non-negotiable. You must go. But if you don't know what you're doing and you don't know what you want to do, there's really no point to go. I graduated in 2020, so I guess three years ago now, technically. And I've been out of school for about two and a half years. Now, when I was a junior in high school, a guy came into my financial literacy class and he spoke about how he's a real estate investor and how he has a management company with about 30 employees. And so I ended up DMing the guy, following him. And it just so happened as I graduated, he was looking to hire a content creator. Now, if you guys know, I obviously have been making YouTube videos since I was like 12 years old. So it was right up my alley. He was looking for someone to do one-on-one, -on -one, short form, long form, all sorts of content, basically eight to five full time for himself and his painting company. I was with him for my first 18 months after I graduated, before I became a real estate agent. And essentially I learned how to run a business. I learned sales, I learned management, I learned how to manage people. I had eight painters under me. And then I also was working one-on-one -on -one with a guy who was doing $50 million deals next to me. When I landed the job, I was not concerned with pay. I was strictly going for an internship slash mentorship and I was gonna provide work for a good price and I was gonna take away knowledge. That was my only concern, was knowledge and learning and understanding what I need to do to be able to be in his position. So right off the bat, I did content creation, which I really only did for three months, but I was working one-on-one -on -one with him, got tons and tons of experience on managing people and running a company with multiple layers, different levels, a lot of the legal stuff that you have to understand, even a lot of tax stuff, really just about every aspect of a business. So I did the content creation for three months and then I actually became a sales rep and manager. I know I probably have already told this story before on my YouTube channel, but I was sales and management for about a year with the painting company. I was essentially running everything after the first few months and it was basically all on me. So I ran this painting company for a year straight before I did a little bit of property management for my last three months with the company. And that was enough time for me to really get a good understanding on A, how money works, B, how businesses work, and C, how to structure a business, how to, how to start, how to get leads, how to follow up with customers. Really every step to a business is just simply from doing it and learning and getting the experience with another company. Now, again, it depends on what you're going to college for, but if you're looking to run a business, I think that being inside of a business and understanding and seeing firsthand how it operates is gonna teach you so much more. We learn more from experience than we do from a professor that may have never even been in the position of running a business, but rather has a course or business class to teach. Again, not knocking the professors, it's their job. They've learned, they probably have some credentials, but I'm guessing it's not the same as having the exact experience of being inside of that business. And that only took the first 18 months after graduating. I actually bought the properties nine months. I bought my seven apartments, which I've got videos on my YouTube channel. Going over those, I bought those nine months into uh, working for this company just because I'd seen it, I was around it, and the job was flexible enough for me to pick up the phone if I had to answer something regarding my properties. Now, had I gone to college for say a business degree, I would still have another two years, still have more debt to pick up, and probably not be anywhere near as far along as I am now. Again, if you're in school for something that you were planning to do, that is great. There's nothing wrong with that. And there's still a lot of great options that you can make down the line. But to me, four years of high school was enough. I was like, this, I'm not doing four years of college. I'm jumping right in. I'm gonna go make it happen. I got time, time is money. <laughs> 
Also, really random side thought, if you guys enjoyed the editing on the last video, let me know. I did hire someone to do that. It does take me like four to five hours if I want to edit a video in the standard that I want. Now, the next main reason is student loan debt and the debt that you acquire by going to college. The average cost of attendance for a student in-state is $25,000 a year or $100,000 over four years, and that is the average for in-state in America. And that does not include living expenses, it does not include food, it does not include beer, it does not include your drugs, whatever else you're buying it does not include that and so that's just extra money on top of that and that's not including the opportunity cost of how much money you could be making during those hours that is strictly the tuition and books and all that good stuff which i can't really talk from experience super well so i'm going off of google's information and a little bit of ai Anyways, in 2020, bachelor degree earners from public and private nonprofit four-year schools who graduated with student debt had an average debt of $28,400. Now, that is a lot of debt. And if you are in college and you are watching this, do not pay it off. This is not financial advice, but you can make a better return putting your money into something like real estate and using cash flow to pay off that debt eventually. Not financial advice. I'm not a lawyer, I'm not an attorney, I'm just a kid who thinks he might know something. Not to mention, I know that if I was in school, I would probably be drinking a lot, probably be partying a lot. I still have a little bit of fun every once in a while, but I'm very focused on my health, my business, and my personal well-being, my mental health, and kind of wealth and health, really. A healthy 20-year-old with $5 is more wealthy than a 60-year-old man with $5 billion. Does not matter. You have time and time is wealth. But I was talking about like money wealth before, but in this case, health is, is more important than wealth at any stage in life. Don't get me wrong. If I pull up, it's, it's going to be a good time and I still have fun. I, I'm not gonna say that I don't, but I do know that the odds of me cracking open a beer at noon on a Wednesday would be much higher than they are now. Again, not necessarily anything wrong with that, but it's just not the best for me right now. Now, the next point is that education is critical and it is very important, but it does not have to come from college. Like I was saying before, experience is just as valuable, if not more important than just hearing it into your ears. At the end of the day, you are gonna fail and you're gonna learn the most from your failures over anything else. If you fail once, you're gonna learn what not to do, make the corrections and then make it the right way. The person that I worked for who has now 2000 apartments or something like that, he was skipping his college classes and the only reason he went was to play football, but he was skipping his classes to read books on how to invest in real estate, understanding how money works, and that's how he spent his time over going to class. Obviously, if you're gonna be going into trades, there's all sorts of training for if you wanna do welding, trucking, whatever it is, those types of trainings are there for you and you can relatively get into those pretty, pretty cheap. And oftentimes those can pay just as well as some people that are going to a four-year degree starting off at an entry-level job. Again, I am not knocking college. I am just saying why it doesn't work for me. I think every single one of my family members, both my sisters, my mom and my dad, they all got four-year degrees. Well, we'll see if my younger sister makes it, but I knew it just wasn't for me and I just knew that. And if you're going and you don't know what you wanna do, then figure out what you wanna do because you're just burning money. What if you end up wanting to be a real estate agent after two and four years of college, just like my older sister did? My older sister is now a real estate agent on my mom's team and she went to school for four years and then actually started going into dental school and practicing for the dental exam. And then she decided, I actually really like real estate. I'm just gonna do this. So all of that money is gone. Granted, she had a great experience, met tons of friends, actually studied abroad. So there is great life experiences and college years probably will be some of the best in your life, but it really is just how important where you wanna be and what your goals are and what your ambitions are. Now, if you did go to college and you have student loan debt, it's not over, you just have to make smart financial decisions like purchasing an investment property before you go buy a single family house and a car and now all of your earnings are going straight to your liabilities. I'm gonna make a video on how to become a guaranteed millionaire because there is a step-by-step -step process of purchasing real estate and not spending all the money you're making on dumb shit like a car in your own house. A lot of people are gonna disagree with this and think I'm crazy, but it is truly a trick from banks for people to go buy houses, for people to buy a single family house as their primary residence is literally made from the banks for them to collect interest and become richer and richer and richer. There are several other options such as house hacking, buying a four unit, living in one unit, cash flowing on that still, 
and you have money coming in every month instead of out. And don't get me started on the cost of home ownership. I know your monthly payment might be cheaper than renting, but by the time you add in all of your lawn care, your repairs, like furniture, everything, it costs so much to maintain. It is not a great investment. But that's a video for a whole nother day. I won't even get into it because I could rant on that all day, all night. Again, I'm gonna be trying to make weekly YouTube videos. I'm gonna be trying my best. My time is very, very crunched. There's a lot of things I have to take care of in a day, but I do really have a passion for, for creating content online and so this is something i will continue to work towards as the year progresses if you guys don't already follow me on all my social medias those links are in the bio if you enjoyed the video drop a like if you want to add to the discussion drop a comment and i will respond and i will see you guys in the next video thanks